So questions are, are there any requirements as to the website we want to rank to make it this a good fit? Um, small blog, but we'll be adding to it. E-commerce site, our URLs might shift a bit later for more SEO friendly. I mean, no, because you can you can use a WordPress site or pretty much anything that you want. You can use the G site from the drive stack uh, or the SEO shield, excuse me, as your primary website. Um, if you're just doing GMB stuff, it doesn't sound like you are. But if you are just doing GMB stuff, you could always just use the GMB website as your primary website or once again, the G site, uh, self-hosted sites, doesn't matter. You choose what target it is. Now, if you have... Um, if you have the ability to manipulate the on-page SEO, right? So opt to, to be able to optimize the site itself, um, then that's going to give you a leg up, right? And what I mean by that is, you know, a lot of like e-commerce sites I know, and I don't do any e-commerce sites, but we know that some of them are very difficult um, to optimize for SEO. They're, it's very limited in what you can do. So if you're going to be doing a lot of stuff like WordPress is always a good website builder um, or platform to use because it gives you so much functionality and so many so much ability to optimize. Um, so it doesn't really matter what type of site it is. There are certainly benefits to having some sort of some sites built on certain platforms over others, but it really shouldn't matter. And before I move on, do you want to comment on that, Marco? Yeah, the only thing I would say is make sure that you can work on, on, on the on-site SEO, right? because that'll help and make sure that you can add schema because that would help. Oh, not, not it would. It will help to have schema and proper SEO on the website to be able to silo it correctly, to be able to interlink everything correctly. 